Hey you guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be a little bit of an emotional video for me and this is so dumb that this is emotional to me probably. But I got in a product that really means a lot to me. <clears throat> Before I show it to you, um, if you are already subscribed, be sure to go ahead and do that so you can catch my other content. And I'm going to tell you that in my next video, I lied. The spoiler I was going to give you in the video I planned to post today is actually the video going up today because this product came in sooner than expected. So to go ahead and give you a spoiler right now, the next video going up is going to be on Inferno. That is the Naked Heat dupe. That is what's on my eyes currently. I just got off work. I have this package. I have not opened it yet. Um, just cut the tape so it'll be easier to open, but I wanted to open it on camera with you guys. So, uh, this is, of course, if you can't guess by now, I got in the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette today. And this is kind of emotional for me because when I go back and I watch Laura's videos talking about where she was when she started her channel, um... It really just kind of speaks to me and like where I am in my life right now. So she is definitely a big inspiration for me and to see her come out with the first product in her makeup line as just a girl from Alabama and a girl from Arkansas who didn't think YouTube was really going to take her anywhere. That is so cool to me. So here is the box. I'm going to cover my address. If these lights don't blind you, it's the Laura Lee box. And we're gonna open it up and see what we've got in here. Okay. So we have first off our little card with Laura's beautiful face on it. This will be going on my vanity mirror. So every time I look at it, I can feel inspired. And what are you? Packing label. And then we have our palette burrito with the Laura Lee logo on it. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to open this a little carefully so I may have to cut this out a little bit because I don't know how long it will take me to hopefully not rip this or if I may have to just rip it anyways one piece carry already I'm so excited y'all like a little kid okay so here we have the unicorn it's got this metallic with her logo on it and it's got the roses and uh, on the back it's got the ingredients and uh, cruelty free all her little social media handles all that good jazz. And now we're going to open this beautiful baby up and see just how gorgeous this thing is. <sighs> Y'all, I'm so excited. Okay, so here it is in all of its shiny glory. Cat's pajamas down here. Logo on the front. And my favorite thing that hardly anybody has mentioned is this little kitty cat on the top. I think that's just adorable. By the way, I also relate to Laura because I'm a crazy cat lady that will make an appearance eventually. I promise I have three cats that are like my children. I have dogs too, but my cats are everything. I've had cats at any given point since I was seven. So they're very important to me. So let's open by the way, it really is smooth. All you can feel is like the letters and you can just barely feel this. Open her up. And we have got the plastic, which as Laura said is a very important thing that she didn't realize was an important thing until she made a palette. I might actually keep this one because I know she actually had to put thought into it. <clears throat> so here we go. This is the rose packaging. Got the mirror up here. And here is the palette in all of its beautiful glory. Do y'all see this? I know there are already 5,000 tutorials and reviews up on this, but I had to. So, 
I am gonna get y'all, oh, it's so shiny, it's like reflecting off my ring light. I'm gonna get y'all some swatches and uh, take off this day old makeup and get you a tutorial. So give me just one second and we'll be back with some swatches, you guys. Okay, so the first color we have is Okie Dokie. Uh, this is just a bone white. It's a really good color to set everything with. Then we have Scatterbrain and Bomb Diggity. <clears throat> then we move on to Cray Cray, Redonkulous, Quirky, Kooky, in one ear, which is gorgeous, out the other, and Oddball. guys so first step we dig into okie dokie and we use this to set our mac paint pot in soft ochre because that is exactly what laura would do so i just put this all over my lid and up into my crease just to set that and to give everything a good base to lay on top of once i was done with that i decided to take a stiffer brush and dig into a bomb diggity it's a perfect crease shade, looks really good, and gives everything in the crease a really nice base to build on top of. I will say here, uh, you don't need a stiff brush with this palette at all. Honestly, the pigment picks up so easy. If you just use a regular fluffy blending brush, it will work perfectly. Because with mine, I kept having to kind of tap it off because those harder bristles were picking up a lot more pigment than I needed. So once I got this into the crease, I went in with Cray Cray. To me, that's kind of the next step up. If you're trying to build up your color uh, and you want any kind of brown, I feel like you should go with Cray Cray. It adds to that definition in the crease and it layers on top really good. Also, as a side note, these colors blended like flawlessly they all went together so well okay so I decided that I wanted to go a little bit crazy today and I went into out the other and I absolutely love this color it's got some shimmer to it I believe this is our kind of almost a satin finish shade um, so I just put that in there I wanted to go for a vampy look so I decided to go with that dark purple and just build that up in the crease. That gave me a nice dark crease to work with. And it was really easy to build up. I did have difficulties with my left eye, but I just suck at doing my left eye. So next I dipped into Oddball and I'm so thankful that Laura decided to make sure that this black eyeshadow was not too pigmented. Because usually with a black eyeshadow, like, I just explode it on my eye and go crazy. But with this, it just really defined that outer V, made the look deepen up a little bit, and it just looked wonderful. It was a dream to work with. So I'm going to take my pretty clean blending brush and just clean up those edges. <clears throat> I felt like they got a little harsh and I went a little too far up. But I got off too much color, so I had to go back into out the other and just deepen the crease up a teeny bit more to be sure I didn't lose that vampy vibe. <clears throat> okay, so I couldn't decide what shimmers I wanted. So I started with Scatterbrain. I just took this on my finger, like y'all know I do with all my shimmers, and put it in the inner corner of my lid. Uh, this light gold color is just so gorgeous. These pigments are amazing in all the shimmers. And I wanted to give this a different effect. So then I went into Redonkulous, which by the way, I think is a perfect color and I will be using it a lot. And I put that in the middle of my lid. As you can see here, or maybe you can't see, but what I'm going for is kind of an ombre effect with all the shimmers. So last I went into In One Ear, which if you've seen swatches from other people, this color is perfect. 
I put it in the outer corner of my eye. I wanted to add a little bit of red in there and get this little ombre effect going. <clears throat> and I was so excited because these shimmers are just so pretty. Like you, you can't just pick one to play with. You got to use all of them. So next, I just tried to blend those shimmers together just a little bit better with my blending brush and my finger just to be sure that the lines in between them weren't too harsh and get that really good ombre. And then I went back in with Okie Dokie and kind of highlighted my brow bone with that. It is a matte shade, but it still makes a really good brow bone highlight. And then I went into Scatterbrain and just stuck that in my inner corner. This kind of connected the lid to the inner corner to the lower lash line to make this ombre effect pull down around the entire eye. And now it's time to do the lower lash line. So I took another clean brush and went straight into Cray Cray. And I just took that and swept it across my entire lower lash line. Uh, this color is just wonderful to work with. Um, it's really easy to use and blends everything really good. And it gave me a really nice smoked out effect. But then, of course, I had to take out the other to tie in the purple from my crease. Took it on a smaller brush and I put it closer to my lash line just to give me a darker smoked out look on that lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the smallest brush I think I own and go into Oddball. And I decided to use it kind of like as an eyeliner and just pack it in on that tight line right there. Just to give the eye a rounded look, make it real smoky, and just add something extra. I'm not really sure what it is, but I feel like when you do this it just gives an extra oomph to whatever you're trying to do. <clears throat> Now on this eye, like I said, on my left eye, I'm horrible at basically everything. So I did mess up a little bit and had to go in and touch up my shimmers because I got the brush kind of sideways and got oddball where it was not supposed to be. But those shimmers covered it right up and everything looked just how I intended by the time I was done. Then I got off camera, put on a dark lippy because, you know, vampy looks and uh this is my final look i hope y'all enjoyed it i really really love this palette it's definitely gonna be a regular for me so uh, i'll see y'all in a couple of days bye you guys